Hello everyone. This video would focus on angle addition postulate. To better understand this postulate, let's look at this picture right here. We can see that in this figure, we have angles A, B, B. I will label that with um, blue tick. That is the first one, A, P, B. The second angle is B, P, C. And I will label that with red ticks right here. So the angle addition postulate states that if we add this blue angle, A, P, B, plus the red angle BPC that is equal to the whole thing APC. I'm going to write that down below. This is what we mean by angle addition postulate. That means if we add this two angles right here, it's equal to the whole thing. In statement, angle addition postulate states that the measure of an angle formed by two angles, that's the red and the blue, which are located side by side, is the sum of the measures of these two angles. So that means if we add these two angles, it's equal to the whole thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and write the statement up here. So this is the statement for angle addition postulate. Now let's take some examples. Looking at this first example right here, we have two angles formed LKM and MKN. So these are the two angles with labels on them. We're supposed to determine the measure of LKN. Again, we're going to use the angle addition postulate. So in the angle addition postulate, we're going to add the first and the second that's equal to the whole thing. So in this um, figure right here, we have the measure of angle LKM. So that's the first one, LKM, plus the measure of angle, the second one, MKN. So that is MKN is equal to the whole thing, which is LKN. So that is the measure of angle LKN. So then we plug the values in. So we start with LKM. So LKM is 51 degrees. So I'm going to write 51 degrees right here. Plus the measure of angle MKN is 87 degrees and that is equal to the measure of angle L K N which is the one that we're looking for. So then we add these two together 51 plus 87 is 138. So this is the measure of angle L K N. And this makes sense because if we add 51 and 87 together that comes out 138. Now let's move on to the next example. In this example, we're supposed to solve for angle X. We are given angle ADC is equal to 78. So that means this whole thing. So again, using the angle addition postulate, we're going to write the uh, formula for this. So that's the first angle ADB. So the measure of angle ADB plus the measure of angle, the second one, BDC. So that is B, D, C is equal to the whole thing, A, D, C. So that's the measure of angle A, D, C. So we're going to plug the values in. So we start with A, D, B. So A, D, B is X plus the measure of angle B, D, C is 42 degrees. And then we are given the measure of angle ADC, that's the whole thing, which is 78. So then we go ahead and solve for X by subtracting 42 from both sides. So minus 42 and minus 42 so that we can go ahead and cross the 42 out. We are left with X is equal to 78 minus 42 is 36. So this is the measure of Angle X or angle X is actually named using three letters. That would be A, D, B. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer.
Okay, so we're gonna go over the problem here. So we're supposed to solve for x. We're supposed to determine the measure of angle F, J, G, and the measure of G, J, H. Again, we're going to use the angle addition postulate, which states that we're supposed to add the first two angles, and that is equal to the whole thing. So in this problem right here, we have the measure of angle F, that's the first one, F, J, G, so that's F, J, G, plus the measure of angle, that's the second one, G, J, H. So that's G, J, H is equal to the whole thing, which is F, J, H. So that's the measure of angle F, J, H. So we're going to plug the values in. So we start with um, F, J, G. So that is 8X plus 16. So 8X plus 16 plus the measure of angle G, J, H is 5X minus 25 is equal to the measure of F, J, H is given up here, which is 160 degrees. So then we go ahead and combine like terms. We have 8X plus 5X, that would come out 13X. I'm just going to write 13X right here. And then we're going to combine um, the constants. We have positive 16 minus 25 is negative 9. So I'm going to put negative 9 right here, and that is equal to 160. So then we wanted to solve for x, so we're going to add 9 to both sides, so plus 9 and plus 9. So then we can um, cross the 9 out. We're left with 13x equals 169. We want the x, so we're going to divide both sides by 13. And so we can cross this out x is equal to 13. So this is the value for the x here. So then we can go ahead and write that up here. So this one right here is 13. Now we're ready to solve for the measure of angle FJG. So FJG, what are we going to do here is we plug the values in. So we start with, I'm going to show the work for FJG right here. So the measure of Angle F, J, G is equal to, again, the formula for that is 8X plus 16. So 8X plus 16. So then we go ahead and plug the values in. So that's 8 parentheses plus 16. And so we have our X, again, is 13. So we plug it in here. 8 times 13 is 104. So that is 104 plus 16 that comes out 120 degrees. So this is the measure for angle FJG. That is 120 uh, degrees. So just by looking at this, we can already go ahead and tell the measure of angle GJH since this whole thing is 160 and we got this as 120. So this one should be 40. So again, this one right here is 120 degrees. So then we go ahead and solve for GJH. So I'm just going to show the work for angle GJH right here. So the measure of angle GJH after I plug the X value into this equation right here is 40. And this makes sense because if we have 120 plus 40, the whole thing is 160 degrees. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah! Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.